Hello, and welcome to another Mario Party 5 minigame review. Up today is the free-for-all minigame Mazed and Confused. And you guessed it, you're in a maze for this one. Amazing. And confusing. Well, here's something I'm not confused about. How much fun I had with this one. It was great. Yeah, I agree. This one was a lot of fun. I really liked that each time we played it, the board was random, so it wasn't like I had to just memorize a pattern. I really had to strategize and figure out where I needed to go each time. Yeah, basically you just want to get to the center of the maze in this one, but the walls are constantly changing and if you hit them, you're stunned for a few seconds. So it's really about being fast, but not so fast that you run into the walls. But also precise. You don't want to be going the wrong way and then realize you need to go back but have to wait for the maze to change again. Yeah, in fact, one strategy I used a lot in this one was just standing and waiting for the walls to change again. You can either wait for a second or two or run to another section and hope that it's open. But the issue I found with that is that usually by the time I got there, the wall would change and I'd be stuck again but in a different place. So most of the time waiting seemed to do well for me. Yeah, I took that approach where I would just run to the spot that was open as fast as I could to try and get through the maze, but then I'd need to find another route. So when you told me you were just waiting for it to change, I was like, I need to switch my strategy, and it worked a lot better. Another thing I think works better in this one is to kind of take a little bit of time and go slowly. It might seem counterproductive when it's a race to the finish, but if you just take your time and make sure that you're not hitting the walls, you'll save time overall. It's a lot better than recklessly going through the maze and then getting shocked a bunch of times. Yeah, definitely, because when you get shocked, you're stunned, so you lose that valuable time when the maze is changing, so you have to keep waiting. One thing I really liked about this one was how intense it was. I loved when I was getting close to the center and maybe I was the one who won and I could see the other players right behind me. It was really fun to see how neck and neck everyone was and it made it super competitive. So overall, I don't think there's a bad thing to say about this minigame. It's a lot of fun. There's some different strategies you can use in trying to get to the middle of the maze first. So there's a lot of freedom to do your own thing. And on top of that, it's really competitive which makes it the perfect party game. So we're giving this one 5 out of 5 stars. Woohoo! Well, if you've enjoyed this review, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Next up, we'll be reviewing Mary Poppins. I hope this minigame is just a spoonful of sugar. If you want to see what this minigame is like, come back for our next video. Hope, hope to, to see, see you then. then.